How are you, Will? I'm doing well, how are you? And yourself? Thank you, Will. Yeah, very good, thank you. Uh, Will Nicholas from uh, Tesla Motors USA. And uh, so we're gonna hear a lot about Tesla today. Um, so, Indeed. here we go. Well, welcome to our Model S. Uh, this is one of our, uh, I'd say, modestly equipped cars. It's our 60 kilowatt hour battery that has... I don't think there's anything modest about oh, Tesla. It's amazing, really. Uh, that's <laughs> just the first look of it. It's like incredible. That's true. Well, I think that the 17 inch touchscreen uh, instantly kind of jumps down at you. This is you know, the largest yeah. display that you know, any car has on the on the market. And I think that our owners really appreciate it because it gives them all the access to the technology that they're used to on their pockets yeah. and their phones. So it's bringing all the technology, both in automotive and like any other things that people are used to now within a car, which is pretty amazing. I mean, you have Tesla navigation that's overlaid on Google Map imagery. Uh, you have access to the World Wide Web. You can listen to internet radio stations, Bluetooth your phone right in. So all of that that people are used to so, familiar with. So in a way, being the screen so big, some people might say it's destructive, but I, I, I don't know. My first impression will be like, yes, at the beginning, probably, because you're not used to like maybe a third of it or like a fourth of this. But over a time, over the time, I think you get used so get used to it, right? When I get into other cars um, and I assimilate their touch screen, like, so the small <laughs> ATM screen, it's grainy. Yeah. I mean, the uh, the resolution is amazing here. You also do have some tactile controls on your thumbs. Yeah. Uh, you do have voice commands as well, so you can tell the car to play a specific radio station or to navigate to a sp yeah. specific address or call someone on your phone. So with so much technology, I mean, there's a some learning curve that people have to get used to when they first get a, in, in a car like this, right? A bit, and so we do have, uh, in our delivery process, we typically spend an hour or two going through the, uh, with folks. Yeah. The technology within the screen, how to charge the car, how to take care of the car, um, how to adjust some of the settings to benefit uh, their driving needs. Yeah. So we're gonna go for a little spin here? Yeah, let's do it. So the car is already on and being electric, obviously we don't hear anything, right? We, we jumped in all the applications of the car turned on so we could adjust the air con, the music, yeah. the navigation, but it's not until I actually put my foot on the brake, you'll see the everything goes on, yeah. ground. Nothing really happens, there's no real vibration or noise associated with the car, but as soon as I select D for drive, we still don't feel anything, oh, we still anything move. except for yeah the propulsion forward. So uh, let's talk about model. Model S has been uh, out in the market for a couple of years now. Uh, first started production and deliveries in June of 2012. Yeah, and uh, it's been phenomenal, right? I mean, you can you guys can keep up with production pretty much, well, right? Indeed. I mean, we, we've been able to expand our sales and service footprint over the last two and a half years. Uh, we've made a lot of improvements to Model S, uh, some hardware, but a lot of software, improving the efficiency of the car as well as uh, the user experience. Um, we took some of our owner's feedback and actually built in some of the options and accoutrements that they, they were asking for. And uh, with that, all that technology integrated and connected to the internet and all that, some of the, the software upgrades can be done online. Every few months, uh, an owner will get inside of his car or her car and see a message that a new version of software is available to download. Uh, in about 20 to 30 minutes when the car is off, it will automatically take that from the air. And you can see all of the improvements if you look at the release notes here. For oh, okay. Version 6. Just like you get with your iPhone, let's say, right? It's the same. Indeed. So, traffic based navigation, uh, a new calendar app, um, new power management options, and you can actually name your, your car now. Yeah. yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, so the big question for a lot of people still, even though electric cars have been around for like a while now, a lot of people are still asking what's the range, what's the charging time and all this kind of thing. And that's why we have our retail locations here at the Dadeland Mall and others around Florida, the country and the world, um, is to better explain to people the advantages of driving electric. Um, it is a significant change for many, but as you can see the car drives much like any other would except just a bit faster. Much faster yeah, and, and quiet. It's a lot more convenient. Once you learn how to charge the car in yeah. your home at our supercharging stations, uh, you realize that you can drive essentially anywhere and charge yeah. every night at a fraction of the cost that you would experience at the I, I always compare it sort of to when people change from gas to diesel. And people, when you're driving a gas car, you don't really pay attention where the diesel station is. And like after you do that, you do the change. You start like, oh, there's one here, there's another one there. And they're like a lot. So with this, I know the infrastructure is not there like, as a gas station for diesel. Absolutely. But it's getting we have there, over right? 140 
supercharging stations around the country, um, nine of which are actually here in the state of Florida, uh, which is awesome at this time of the year because we have a lot of folks that are migrating from places like Chicago, Connecticut, yeah. New York, uh, down here for the winter. Uh, with the Model S, there's like uh, three versions, or how many versions are of uh, pretty much the battery, right? Two battery packs, the 60 kilowatt, the 85 kilowatt hour, and then also we have a performance version on top of that. Yeah. And that new performance version has a dual motor option, which means there's an independent motor on each axle, yeah. which improves the pace of the car as well as the handling um, and even the efficiency in some cases. That one that does like 0 to 60 in less than 4 seconds? Indeed, 3.2. That's amazing. <laughs> when our insanity drive option is selected. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with like in other uh, car manufacturers are there like packages in terms of like premium package because the cars are pretty much equipped the same or how, how does that work? Well, they all come standard with the 17 inch touchscreen uh, and we do have a la carte options that you can custom build into your vehicle. Uh, for instance, the panoramic roof, different types of leathers and trims, we have an upgraded sound system, uh, different types of wheels and you know, our sales folks will uh, consult our customers on you know, which aesthetics suit them best and yeah. what options will you know, benefit their driving needs most. Okay. When you order a car, it takes a while because we're like so fucked up with the orders, I mean, which is a great thing that happened, but how, how is that uh, right now? Yeah, so when you order a car now, uh, depending on the options that you do choose, uh, we can get you one in about two to three months. Okay. And uh, we do build all of them in our Fremont factory out in California. Uh, we are ramping up production uh, at the end in the of this year and the beginning of next uh, because we do want to increase capacity and sell more cars not only here in the United States but also in Europe, Asia, yeah. and now Australia. So finally, uh, the prices, uh, you said like two ba battery packs and then like a high performance car. So our 60 kilowatt hour battery pack starts at $71,000 and then our 85 starts at $81,000. Uh, and then our performance package starts about 103. And that's before all the federal tax incentives and like in California or like some states, you even have like local incentives for the city and sometimes even where you work. Absolutely. So you, everyone is eligible for a $7,500 federal tax credit, yeah. independent of what state you live in. And other specific states offer state level rebates. Um, the state of New Jersey offers no sales tax. Uh, the state of Georgia offers a $5,000 rebate. Uh, and many or even most will offer some sort of subsidy on the cost of installing charging equipment at your home or office. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, while well, we're gonna keep driving for a little while here and like enjoying uh, the Tesla, this is the Model S with uh, which battery? It's a 60 kilowatt. Hour. A 60 kilowatt. Hour. So, with that, this battery, I said what the last question a few questions ago. Oh, of course. Now, no, no, no worries. Information. Uh, so, here. So, what's the range over, here over well? this battery? Oh, yeah, oh, and I know it depends, yeah. it depends yeah. on how you drive, and traffic, so. condition, weather conditions, all of that, but what's the average? So, this has a 208 mile EPA tested range, which means that. 280? 208. Sorry. Oh, 208, 208. And that includes highway, city driving, hot weather, cold weather, rapid accelerations. Uh, and then our 85 kilowatt hour battery has a range of 265 miles. So compared to other electric cars, this is like five times more. Because more, more, all the electric cars are like, depending, like the bulb, it has like an electric car and then like the extender and then like the lead. I mean, the, the full ele fully electric cars get to like, 100 so like twice as much and uh, we consider that a huge value proposition for our customers because you know, as we were discussing earlier folks are sometimes concerned where they will charge because you don't see charging yeah. stations as ubiquitous as gas stations however when you do have this type of range it's rare that you're going to be traveling more than 200 miles in yeah. a day's time and if you are that's when you can leverage our supercharging network and then the supercharging network, how long does it take to like charge the battery? 20 minutes for a half charge. Okay, 35. so that's like another 100, like, you're like almost empty. And uh, they're located uh, amongst commonly traveled routes at service plazas where there's 24-7 access to food and bathrooms and entertainment. And I guess the navigation system will like, locate okay, them and guide them to them. In the Absolutely. 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 The the navigation screen will take you to any supercharger and also any charger that you've visited um, in the past. Yeah. And for example, if we're with the studios like in Dayland Mall and other places that you have, then you can also go there. Like for example, if you come shopping, 
and uh, for Christmas now you can leave the car and uh, charge it there. Okay, we, um, we primarily use this for our marketing cars, but if a customer is there, we certainly can offer them uh, yeah, the convenience of charging Great. while they shop. Well, thank you very much, uh, Will, and uh, we're going to enjoy a beautiful day here in uh, Miami. Uh, <laughs> it's like 70, so it's a nice winter. It makes me want to stay <laughs> exactly. down here. And you're going up north, right? Uh, after this, so to New York tonight. So, so. Sorry about that. It's okay. Thank you. Thank here. you. You all.